I just woke up from like two or three hours of sleep. It is 2.30 in the morning and it's time to catch an Uber to the airport because we're flying to Quito. Let's go. <laughs> We have officially made it to Ecuador. We are in Quito and we are about to climb this gigantic church that they've been building forever, apparently. Three million years. Three million years it's been under construction. <laughs> uh, back when they first invented the hammer. All right, we found an elevator because we're, we're lazy. It's like 10,000 feet elevation here and with masks on. So we took an elevator another floor or two. Oh yeah. Oh, gift shop up here. Now we got more stairs. More stairs. All right. Damn, this city is gorgeous. All right, let's keep going higher. Damn, look at this. Oh, we can keep going higher? Hell yeah. We're seriously in the clock tower. This does not look safe. Oh my, it goes up to a whole nother floor. This is so sick. Oh, it gets really small right here. Look at this. <laughs> No way. This is so sick. with our other friends and we need to get back to our hostel because we have a private transfer to Banos, which is a couple hours away so we can go jump some waterfalls hit some hot springs and that's where we're headed to right now so we need to get down from this tower meet up with our friends and hop on this bus so i feel like in the movies when you're in a clock tower it's like super intricate and there's these giant gears and everything and uh this is it that one little gear controls all the clocks it's uh, a little bit underwhelming. Oh, your mask is supposed to be over the eyes. Is this good enough, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it, that's it. We made it to Banos. Look at this. Yeah, we made it to the bathroom. Ooh, it's the most beautiful bathrooms I've seen. We've got a waterfall straight down there, and if you can see way up on top of the mountain, there's some giant swings that just hang over the edge. I am pumped. All right, we got 22 kilometers to go check out a whole bunch of waterfalls on these bikes. Got all the homies back there. I don't know why they're so slow. Let's go! <laughs> Everything sounded like it just broke on the head. Hey, hey, buddy! Hey. Speed bump! Oh, that wasn't even a speed bump! <laughs> We're not jumpable, so we're just we're hopping in a Damn, this thing, thing? Is really it's gondola, and we're gonna go check out this guy. <laughs> oh boy!
what we came across. We met two dogs and uh, now we're going back. <laughs> what they turn into. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so we just came to this restaurant. They make you go fishing in the back for your own fish to, to cook up and eat. Oh, he's, dude, he's going for it. Oh, that's a big guy. Yeah, go get him. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh, can't even get him with the net. He's couple waterfalls we went to are definitely not jumpable or extremely difficult to get to we were just cruising through this little town and they have a little like a little baby waterfall right in the city so we're gonna get in there depth check it and see if we can send some little jumps off this guy while we're here thank you for depth checking Faye oh that looks deep oh, she goes yeah. she goes she goes yeah, <laughs> yeah buddy. made it to one of the most notorious waterfalls in all of Ecuador and uh, this one they don't really allow you to swim into because it's pretty dangerous but check it out to go try to climb some waterfalls up in this mountain that we saw yesterday and we hopped in a truck about to run over some dogs and then we're gonna go climbing uh, I'm trying to find water before we hike these waterfalls and I came into this little shop but I don't I can't find anybody <laughs> except for this kid and I don't, I don't think he can sell me water what the hell is going on adios up a water channel and made it up a few waterfalls higher but it just keeps going and going so much higher all the way to the top of the mountain this is like nature's tempur bed Tucked away in the mountains. 
Well, none of these waterfalls ended up being jumpable, but it was still a beautiful hike. These views are amazing. And there's still probably another 15, 20 waterfalls above here, but we can't climb any higher. bus of the day Wait. is leaving like right this minute so we had to no! <laughs> so we just had to run down to the main road no! No! <laughs> yeah now we're probably screwed no cell service <laughs> stranded in ecuador on a mountain outside of banos oh, no severely dehydrated <laughs> jay's looking pretty fucking tasty yes he is he's looking like a thick boy over there <laughs> The bus left without us. It's literally right there. <laughs> and we got uh and we found this guy with a truck who's taking us all down. Yeah, buddy.
God. All right, Brandon's going for a swim and there's that guy uh, getting all nervous. <laughs> yeah, no way, really? <laughs> all right, not deep. Okay, unfortunately. Well, she was a gorgeous waterfall, but one more that's not deep enough, unfortunately. Off to the next waterfall, dude! Oh, next waterfall! <laughs> Alright, we made it to another monster waterfall. It's like 120 feet, but not deep. The pool is really small at the bottom. Regardless, it's still gorgeous. I'm gonna try to go walk across the bridge. The camera's gonna get filled with water immediately, but we'll see how it goes. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, this is epic. All right, if I go any farther, there's too much water. I'm gonna go back. Holy shit, and it's really slippery. All right, I just walked across this bridge and it is crazy slippery, but look at this thing. It is gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm getting soaked down here though, so I'm gonna go back up top. dog jumped into the truck as we were driving oh now we got two dogs <laughs> and we had to tell the driver to stop because we kidnapped two dogs he wants to stay with us oh they're so cute oh. <laughs> that's so great Lisa. <laughs> We lost most of the people on this trip. It's down to just me and John Faye. And we came out to Kilotoa. We saw how gorgeous it was and now we decided to hike down and jump into this freezing ass water because we can't come all the way here. It took us like five or six hours by multiple buses to get here. And this place is just too gorgeous. It's very high altitude and freezing, but we gotta get in this water. We can't come all the way here without doing it. So we're trying to find a way to a cliff.
here's our little takeoff spot. It's all crumbling away. But we're trying to do this quick because I know John is freezing because he just jumped. So pretty. How'd that one feel? All right, well, we successfully got inside of this gorgeous water, and now we gotta hike all the way to the top of this friggin' mountain. Okay, I don't know what the altitude is here, but I know damn right I am not acclimatized to it. Acclimated, acclimate, acclimate, acclimate. I'm like halfway up right now and I am dying. Got a long ways to go. What the hell was that word? Acclimatized? Acclimated? I think it's like the same thing. I found a dog to walk with. Hold up, Eddie. Go. Let's go. Long ways to go. Briggsy had the idea of coming over here, kick around a pretend ball until someone gave us a ball. And some guy at that house just threw us one. <laughs> and there might be a game happening over there. Gracias, amigo. What's up? ¿Qué pasa, gatito? <laughs> the garbage trucks are playing ice cream music. <laughs> He's in there. Yo, I know he's in there. We're gonna find him. We're gonna bring him out. We're gonna bring him.